Hi guys, welcome to your daily tarot reading for Friday the 2nd of September. I'm going to use the Morgan Greer deck today. Let's see what these cards have to say about Friday and what the day is going to look like. First card is in here. We've got the Seven of Swords. The Emperor. And the Devil. Okay, so the message I'm getting is that it's very important to defend your own self-interest because there are a lot of people today who are feeling the pressure. There's a sense of being squeezed, maybe financially, in terms of the practical circumstances. There's a major sense of lack. So if there isn't enough of anything, then everyone's going to panic and they're all going to scramble to kind of secure their own position to make sure they have enough. And that's why it's important to defend your own self-interest because a lot of the people around you are going to try and make sure that you get as little as possible out of the deal if there is a deal being done. The other person is going to make sure that they can pay you as little as possible in order to solidify their own position to still get the benefits from the deal, for example, that they're doing with you, but then that their own investment and expenditure doesn't put them at risk. If it's a gesture that seems really kind and selfless, that someone comes to you with it, I'm not saying to be suspicious, but I just like you to ask the question, what are they getting out of this? Because the likelihood of someone coming in on this day and just being selfless and guru-like is unlikely. And what's more likely is if someone seems to be super, super help helpful, that um, there's something going on behind the scenes. They've got some sort of an agenda and they're being nice in order to manipulate you and to get, what, to get something out of you in return. Doesn't mean that, you know, nothing can be done that's completely selfless, but it's unlikely. So just ask yourself that question. Is this person getting something out of it? And if that is just seeing me happy, great. But if it's like they're, you know, they're being nice and they're putting me at ease now so that I'll sell, sign the contract and hand over my rights, then that's something different. So when it comes to officialdom, Pay attention and be careful. You know, it, it, the it, it's easy to try and um, to try and get an advantage in a deal by just putting it down on paper in a contract and by putting it on page thirty-seven in the fine print because the likelihood of anyone even seeing that is 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 really low, and I feel that's how um, people are going to try and come at you by using kind of stealth tactics and not confronting you directly, but saying, oh yeah, 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 I think this is in your interest, totally, you should do this. Meanwhile, knowing all the time that if you go do this, there's a major risk of failure and they'll have a much easier time if they go second. So it's that kind of thing that um, I feel you need to watch out for today, kind of underhanded behavior, sneakiness, trying to people trying to pull the wool over your eyes and it's not malicious it's it comes from this place of fear and lack um i don't have enough so i need to make sure that i don't give anyone a fair deal either so it's negativity begetting more negativity yeah so again if you know you're assuming something make sure that you read the the contract the paperwork the fine print if you're um, in an agreement, business agreement or personal agreement with someone else, make sure that things are above board or as they should be. And just try and check that, that uh, nothing has shifted without you knowing. So when you've turned your back, that things haven't shifted around to put you at a disadvantage. The Seven of Swords, this is someone stealing. So it's that... Um, whole element of this day where it's like, if I don't have enough, it's okay for me to take from someone else. It's that justification of unacceptable behavior. The Seven of Swords, he's running away, having stolen these five weapons, 
and it's doing something that you know is negative but trying to get away with it. So if you find yourself doing anything that you're trying to get away with or you feel like you're being duped or something, pay attention to it. It's likely that you're on point with that. If you get the sense that something underhanded is, is being done, then you're most likely to get that right. And also avoid this kind of behavior. Keep it above board. If there's fear around financial security or any other security, the solution to that is faith and handing it over and letting yourself be guided. It's not then by acting out and doing negative things in order to secure yourself. That is worse. The fact that these two guys, they're both looking off over here, off to the left. And I get two things from that. One, I get that they're very self-interested and they're only focused on the direction they're going in. They're not really looking around. And second of all, that things can go left if you're that self-interested. Self-interested in the sense that you're now behaving in your own negative ways to try and balance it out. But if you're self-interested in the sense of, okay, this is a serious situation with long-term consequences, so I need to uh, make sure I read everything that's being discussed so that I can bring up any questions, then that's a good thing. So the Emperor is the fourth card in the Major Arcana. He's authority, freedom to decide, to see things in his own way, to make a decision, and then to have everyone else affected by it. So he's the guy who's in charge. He's the majority, and he's the status quo. If you want to fight against him, then you're fighting against the whole empire with his armies and everything. So it's a formidable opponent. So you may feel like um, forces around you are conspiring to make you feel like um, you're smaller or um, you're not worth it. And that's where the Seven of Swords comes in really handy because that's you defending your own position. So if someone comes along and they try and dismiss you because they don't have time or they pay you a pittance because they don't want to, you know, empty their own treasury, you have the ability to stand up against that. So it's a kind of David and Goliath situation where you don't care what the odds are. You have your own back and you're like, well, this is ludicrous. I'm not doing it. And you can throw your whole empire at me. It makes no difference. It's just not a good situation. Therefore, I'm not going to be bullied into it. Thank you very much. So it's total... Um, it's a great ability to stand up for yourself. So even if there's something unpleasant, you know, like at work, if there's a disciplinary hearing or something, and you really haven't done anything wrong and you're being accused of something, then this is the kind of day where you can stand up for yourself. So legal things, um, you know, if you've been wronged, then actually saying, okay, well, should I take this further? and balance things out that way, you see, and then on some level, even though it's justified, then you're the person who's self-interested, only looking in one direction, what you're trying to do, and then you're going to try and get what's yours. So there's a lot of elbowing going on on this day, lots of um, competing, and a sense that the world is finite, and that I need to get the most if I want to be happy here. And finally, the devil, that's what all this fear stems from. The devil is the 15th card in the major arcana. And it's when you lose sight of yourself and you confuse your security and your happiness with your physical belongings. I have a great TV, therefore I'm happy. I look good, therefore I'm happy. I have a wonderful boyfriend, therefore I'm thrilled and happy. Those things may make you uh, temporarily happy or on the periphery or whatever, or combined, they may add up to create a wonderful life. But fundamentally, there's something within you which is always secure and comfortable. You don't need to acquire all these things to have that feeling. And on this day, it's just this pervasive idea that I don't have enough. My belongings and my security, my money is super important. I need to focus on mine exclusively. And again, that helps if you're defending yourself. But if you're kind of taking from others or um, bullying or using your power to get more of the cut than other people, then you're really feeding into this faulty perception and you're actually not winning. So, you know, if you do say pay someone a pittance and they accept it and you're like, hooray, I got away with that. I, I get to keep all my money. They're doing the work and I have to pay them almost nothing. Don't think you're, you're not going to get away with that permanently. That kind of injustice and unfairness 
you're you're getting an opportunity to look at that and to not engage with it and if you miss that opportunity and you actually say okay i'm gonna jump on this and get more then you're entrenching this influence in your life and you see things as your security and then in future you're gonna have to unravel this and learn the lesson so you might as well do it now spiritual security is constant and free of charge material security and happiness is temporary and costs a lot of money number wise we've got seven and four is 11 and 15 is 26 two and six is eight and eight is power and strength so you have the power to do what's right to stand up for yourself but also to stop yourself if you're doing something that's not quite above board so you're really the master of your destiny here and the plus is that the fear can motivate you into getting things right and working with information so that things make sense and that you're super informed yeah so yeah information is power definitely on this day have a wonderful day if you'd like a personal reading with me please get in touch via my website it's gregoryscott.com on the front page click on book your reading to order your reading with me and um if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.